Now, the movie Spotlight, which we discussed a couple of minutes ago, opens this Friday. It's not just a terrific movie, but part of a painful story which has yet to end. Last week, as I said, three of the Globe reporters, who along with Matt Carroll and their editors, exposed the wanton abuse and cover-up by the church were here. Tonight, we spoke to two others whose relentless commitment to survivors was highlighted in the film. Let me add two more names which were part of the story but didn't make it into Spotlight. Kristen Lombardi, in March of 2001, her story titled Cardinal Sin appeared in the Boston Phoenix, detailing the crimes of a priest, John Gagan, and the apparent complicity of Cardinal Bernard Law. She wrote a few more uh, stories on the subject, but the limited resources of a terrific alternative paper, now gone, made it impossible to do what the Globe later did. Shortly after, the Globe Spotlight team published the first of hundreds of stories which changed the world. I'll stay out of the debate over who deserves credit for what, except to say that Lombardi did great work and the Globe surely earned its Pulitzer. Lombardi, by the way, now works for the Center for Public Integrity in New York. The second is the late Bob Bullock, a Catholic priest in Sharon. In 2002, he was on my show on NECN, a recent founder of the Boston Priest Forum. He was charismatic, one willing to go where few other priests would. Right before a commercial, I asked Father Bullock if Cardinal Law had to go. He paused for a very long time, after which he said yes. We immediately went to a break, at which point Bullock turned to me and said, I'm toast. Well, he wasn't. But not long after, he and 57 other courageous priests signed a letter calling for Law's resignation. Here's part of it. Your position as our bishop is so compromised that it's no longer possible for you to exercise the spiritual leadership required for the Church of Boston. The people of this archdiocese are angry, hurt, and in need of authentic spiritual leadership. There are many courageous souls who are part of the story. As you just heard, the church has far from cleansed itself of this stain. The work of all these people laid the foundation a very fine movie and the continued work of Survivor's Advocates can help finish the job. What do you think? Are we missing anybody? Email us, tweet us, let us know.